Hello, everyone. So, that I've gotten some time, and I've been wanting to get around to this. I've been busy with a lot of things. Zelda, in particular. I'm going to have Final Fantasy 16 soon. A lot of games have been coming out, and I've been busy with my other project. Some of you viewers might actually know what that project is. I mistakenly had a video of it up in public when I actually wanted it unlisted. But I will reveal that uh, at a later day. Of course, if that project keeps getting in the way of DQX, then I may have to make a choice. Since I am still a full-time working adult, uh, don't get as much time as I want. For this video, we're going to continue the Dream King saga, finally. I really wanted to get around to that. New story is going to be coming up soon, a couple of weeks. Level cap increase, a bunch of other stuff. I actually need to spend a day just fishing in the game. Probably will do that soon. Alright, well, first things first. I want to go to Juliet Town to make sure any quests that have been, team quests have been completed has been turned in. And then we'll head to the uh, last known vocation I remember from the quest line. As always, I'll keep the mic silent and let's need to say something. Now, if only the Clarity team can have the team quest actively translated, there must be a hurdle they have to get over for that one. Otherwise, they would have by now. But everybody can just go to their Haroba page and it'll translate for them. I'm going to go ahead to the inn and go to server one, because why not? You know, I'm constantly on this server that is barely anybody's on. It's classified as a solo only server, basically for players who just want to be alone in the world, mostly. That's the other adventures gives it more of a solo DQX well your standard well, yeah your standard DQX experience uh spend some charge hours so I have to worry about it later go I really do gotta Take care of a bunch of stuff. There we go. Uh huh. I'll be using that for now. 80 weeks I've been saving up to support gold. 80 weeks. Jesus. It's been that long. Huh. All right. Let's go to number one. I don't know. People in my, uh, I mean, not many people are on right now. This is Monday, like 12 a.m. Well, 12 p.m. Monday, so everyone's either asleep or at work. I mean, people come and go. Can't really help it. 
jeez. Uh, everybody, anybody's welcome to join a team if they want a place to be in, use the team benefits, and be able to hire our characters. And he's been hiring uh, mainly mines, boyers, windiest, knives, uh, a few others. All right. Uh, if I remember, it was here. Okay, let's continue. I still gotta do the remaining dies quest. I mean, I do try to do my dailies almost every day when I can and get orbs. Kind of skipping out on that for a bit lately again. Zelda. Uh, pretty close to my next fame level. One of my goals is to get my fame level to 115 plus because one of the achievements set on my Discord that I made myself, and part of the whole grand achievement is to get 115 fame level, which takes a very, very long time. Because even if you do all the quests in the game, if you are a fresh character and you did all the quests in the game, and even done your daily quests, like every single day, for six or so months, you probably only reach a fame level around 81, maybe 82. Most. Uh, I could confirm this with Ferrondial, who uh, came back to the team, actually. Uh, we also call him Kaz. He was... He did every single quest in the game. He was only fame level 83, I believe. So... If I do every single quest in the game, which I'm pretty sure I have like, I don't know, 300 or so to do, I'd probably reach fame level 103, maybe 105. I will get around to it. Alright. She lives in a box. Translations has gotten a lot better. Uh, yes, the Clarity team actually uh, translated all of version 1 and 4 by hand. So, 99% of it should be human translation now. Yeah, sure, let's do it. One of the goals I really gotta do is I gotta get every vocation at 115 plus somehow. It takes a tremendous amount of time. 
That. Every now and then I like to just show what resh what it would look like without the reshade. That's what the game normally looks like. And this is with my reshade on. For those wondering, reshade is very easy to apply, and I did make a video earlier about my reshade settings. Again, what you see differs depending on your own monitor settings, TV settings, NVIDIA settings, AMD settings, whatever. I would suggest... I'm not going to do that. You basically just use my settings and then change it to your preference. Okay, so he's got to be down here somewhere. It's a quick save. There it is.
Yes, they even managed to do the translation of the quests. I think nearly all of them. Ooh, I gotta find this guy. I don't recall a dwarf NPC being in there.
names aren't actively translating on screen. It's probably because of that update I gotta do. Now we can move it out for now. They've been constantly updating the clarity as of late. Okay, so... My guess is this other update must be fixing something. It may have to do with the monster names. Alright. Yeah, Clarity's constantly being updated. Uh, I've been putting out a new update on it almost every day. They probably have a new translation stats for it now, too, already. They can just keep updating and updating some more. So, I'll definitely get that later. Thank you. 
that's a pretty stupid way to die. Well, I made it pretty clear. We have to go to Celed on that cliffside meeting hall. Yep, as I thought. So yeah, they've translated. They actually even translated it. They even put in dialects, which is great. All right. I haven't used one of these in a while. So we gotta go to Sled to that assembly where I believe a helpful NPC is at. Helps us deal with this stuff. Well, let's see what happens. Hmm. 
Yeah, it looks like NPC monster names are translating on screen, so that must be what that update I keep skipping is about. I'll make sure it's working fully for the next video. And I gotta remember how I got down there in the first place. Ah. Does SC know about the translation? Oh, they've known about it for the longest time. It's just now that uh, ever since they did that whole Twitter announcement, it's gotten a lot more interest from uh, Japanese players. They've seen it, they know about it, talk about it, that uh, more and more gaijins are now playing because they have a translation tool that not only is translating about 98% of everything, but now it's doing so accurately, at least up to version 4 now. 5 and 6 is still going to be mostly machine translation, but the machine translation algorithms have gotten a lot better. And they're pretty much working on those two now. Hey, they might be able to translate all of 5 and 6 before version 7 comes out. Here, I'm supposed to talk to somebody outside of it. Talk to him twice, I guess.
I love it when a boss appears for these weeklies. I, I gotta remember to do these too. But when a boss appears, it's a lot less work. Except that for now. False, the other weekly has them too, so I'll have to check it later. Oh, right. Actually, this might be a little informative. Um, yeah, weekly quests. So, used to be the false Lodistria one was the three-way gate. But players kept complaining, you know, why have it there? Why not just put it in Grand Azor? It just makes more sense. My guess is when the weekly quest was first implemented, um, it was right when the second expansion, or well, the first expansion, came out, and players would be unable to come to False Grand Resort for, for at least some time. It would take many, a lot of time just to be able to get to this point in that story. So they felt it'd be fair to just um, put the quest there, which the three-way gate is basically the first place you come to when you get to version two, after you arrive at the shore and all that. Okay, so Witch Gretzel and... Nice. Definitely do those. I gotta stay on top of those weeklies and get them, make sure I get them done each week. They award some pretty decent XP. I can use up whatever class. And... It's mainly the Alchemy Stones that I do them for. But I really gotta work on getting more of these classes to at least 115 plus. We got Warrior at 120. Uh, Druids at 124. Rangers at 120. Working on Fortune Teller now. Generally just gotta get them to 120 plus so I can go after those stat seeds on the perfect road. I'm sure you've heard this before. Um, I think the minimum you need to be at is 160. 16 to get those, but now that level cap is going 130 soon, it makes it easier and easier to get them, because then you require less and less equipment, specialized equipment, to be able to get each seed. Once I have every vocation to 120 plus, I'm going to then proceed to trying to get all the seeds from that thing. Still got a lot of seeds to find out in the world. I think I got them about 65% of them so far. Still, that's still got like 30 or so seeds to get. Every stat point counts. All right, let's proceed.
Like I said before, if SC finally decides to bring DQX to the world, and I doubt what it will because, let's be honest, they've been making a lot of mistakes. A lot of mistakes lately. With some pretty bad games that, that's been developed. Pretty bad games that's been published. NFTs. Yeah, that's a big one. And it's just seeming more and more like Yoshi P is saving the company with everything that he touches. And what he does touch is, of course, Final Fantasy XIV. He does some work on Eleven. He also helps out with Dragon Quest X. And now we got Final Fantasy XVI coming out soon. That's really, really helping Square Enix right now. So for them to wake up and realize people want this badly enough that they actually went and translated a big team translating this whole entire thing. I mean, they're either com fine and comfortable with foreigners paying money into the game regardless. Again, our money gets converted to yen. So they're probably perfectly happy with that, and that's why they leave us alone. Or they might do something later on. Who knows? Dragon Quest Anniversary happened, and they uh, released information on the new Dragon Quest Die action game. It's coming out to multiple consoles. No physical version, though. I want to pre-order it to get the uh, Heroes... The 3Q3 Heroes set, but I really want a physical version. It's coming out in September, so... I'll wait a bit. See what comes out. The costume is basically for Die. And Drag the Dragon Quest 3 Hero is the most well-known hero in Japan. Uh, for us Westerners, though, it's probably the Dragon Quest 8 Hero, since Dragon Quest 8 was what really brought attention. My first Dragon Quest was Dragon Quest 3, honestly. I did play through 1 and 2 later on as a child. Okay, so I gotta go to the library. Find out who this Weddy is.
Ah, that lighthouse. Everything's got a use. I don't think I've ever been to that lighthouse for... I have no reason to. Alright. Waterfall Village. And we'll head there. Take a rest at the inn. As you've noticed, I've been eating the inn less and less and less lately. Where do we need to go? Uh, most players will have the MP recovery ability. You'd be surprised. When the game first came out, uh, players had to frequently go back to the inn often when they are out putting and exping. They tend to go to places where um, they would be able to grind and then go back to the inn. <laughs> Actually, yeah, version 1, version 2, DQX was around. Players tended to group together to XP quite often. I really wish we could have had those days. The game was a lot more like uh, Final Fantasy XI in that regard, really. I don't think there was the support AI system, so people generally had to group together to be able to actually do stuff. Uh, leveling was a lot harder, too. There was no angel hat, and uh, monsters gave a little more gold, but a little less XP than they do now. Uh, bride sh sessions tended to be a bit long. Of course, players would, first thing they'd do with the mini medals that they would eventually collect is get the ring that gives uh, MP recovery after battle. Now you can just easily get that ring by doing the casino. I don't think they had a casino at the time either. Game evolved. They wanted it to be more accessible, like Final Fantasy XIV was, and here we are today. Square Enix was to give us the game. Well, 
For one thing, I mean, they'll probably have seen how a, a massive group of amateur programmers and coders were able to translate it and fit all the English characters. And now they can, uh, they found out a way to bypass the uh, code limit. So now they don't have to do abbreviations as much anymore. Square Enix decided to finally localize the game. I wouldn't be surprised if they uh, use the translation project to do most of the work for them. Granted, if they're going to ask Serenity for permission on that or not, well, I don't think they... I mean, they probably will, just to be courteous. They don't have to, though. I mean, they could shut down this project at any time they feel like it, put it a cease and desist. So if they wanted to, they could take the clarity tools and the repository and everything on it, or demand it, and use it to quickly translate the game for localization globally. At least for in English, they're still going still gonna to have to translate it for other languages if they feel like it. How did I not get this one? Huh. Well, that's another one down, I guess. More defense point for me. Okay, so... I got a deuce... Okay, I think I get it. Got a light of brazier, right? Ashes and all that. So, let's light the brazier. Burn the ashes. All right, let's see what happens now. Thank you. 
I do have a five day vacation I set coming up at the end of June. Um, I'm definitely going to be using that time to. Well, <laughs> I got Final Fantasy 16 coming, but I am going to actually use the time to complete a lot in this game. I just really wish we had more people on playing, you know? It's, it gets a bit lonely, but people take breaks. I've had people ask me why I don't just merge the people we have with uh, Worldwide since... Well, I'm not sure what their situation is, really. I'm pretty sure they get... because they're the face of the translations, they probably get uh, people there daily wants to try the game. Question is, how many of them stick and actually stay on? It'd just be a lot easier if there was a localization, you know, an official global localization. If that happens, yes, I would move Team Moon over to it, even if though we all have to start over again. I would definitely do that, and then I would also quit my side project as well, to completely devote to DQX Global. I really only have time for one MMO yet and try to do two projects at once. It's just not easy. Alright, let's see what the next bit is. Assume that I have to come back here since I've completed the task. Oh, I, if I recall right, any super boss or alliance boss that you defeat in quest finish, it's a massive amount of fame points. Just like the version one raid boss, and I know there's a version three raid boss somewhere that I have to find. It's just, unless I know the name of it, I'm gonna have to basically explore around, because these quests don't just appear. You have to actually go out and find them. <laughs> oh, I know they're accessory. I get the destroy letter. I've been doing less of that, and I've just been turning them into shards, or selling them, really, but I really do should combine them just to raise my synthesizer level up. Pretty sure the synthesizer level is going to go up another five for the 7.0 expansion. Okay. Ah, it's my other self talking to me again. The body you took over, basically, again, when you have to choose your race, you're, you're taking the body of somebody who just recently died. Just until you get your human form back, but you can switch back and forth. Uh, they apparently lived in Lerdersia, but the reason why they were out training in earnest is because of these red cloaks. So this is actually very important for your, uh, the character that you, well, the person you took over. <laughs> I 
Well, I killed him for you. That's the last time I'll see him. All right, well, the soul of the body you inherited can now finally go at peace. Okay, that's it for this video, but I'm going to make the next one very, very shortly. I just want to fix clarity first. So I'll see you guys in the next one.